some of the uh, ranking challenge today, so here we go. Alright guys, this, as you know, is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duels of the Roses, the ranking challenge. So, uh, alright, let's do it. Alright, actually it took some time for me to uh, uh, find the right memory card with the save file, but... Uh, I uh, checked some of my previous episodes on the playlist, and this appears to be the right one. We got the Flood Safe File. Uh, yeah. Yep, 78 wins, 2 losses. Okay. So yeah, guys, in the last episode, we, uh, we actually got, uh, we got a Dark Magician, luckily, which I was looking at, uh, in the recording, and, um, Let's check what rank we are. It, it's actually been a really, really long time since I played this game, so... Oh, I love that music. I love it. Okay, so it looks like we're at the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Um, so now we're actually able to... Uh, I think we're able to uh, battle against uh, Bandit Keith, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, that's good. Oh yeah, and obviously we are, because we got, like, ground attack our bug off here. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have a couple different decks here on this file. Um, tell you what, oh yeah, and we got Dark Magician in this deck, you know what? Just to start this episode, we're just gonna, uh, just because it's been so long since i played this game, we're just gonna mix things up. We're gonna do what we will, like, one time, and then we're gonna go to try to Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Let's duel. Let's duel Rex first. Rex Raptor. Go Red Eyes! Yeah. Okay, we'll use this deck made on the island. Let's do it. Um, what I hope to happen uh, here in this first duel is actually like a... You know, sometimes you can get the AI to... Uh, uh, basically not play any cards. Uh, Rex tends to do that very often. So, uh, let's go here. Mm -hmm. And that way you can, you know, run out the turns. And, uh, yeah, the more turns you run out, uh, the easier it is to rank up. So, that's what I hope happens. Uh, let's just... There's a good one. Alright, and you guys know how the ranking challenge rolls. I mean... It's just gonna be, you know, kind of a shield layback kind of duel, so pretty good start though, not gonna lie. Uh, we could make Amphibious Bug Roll, but Gold Boil is honestly kind of good on this map, so it's actually a little bit loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. There we go. I think that'll work. Power increase. Yummy. <laughs> Alright, so we'll, uh, let's see what we draw out here. Eh, not too bad. We got our deck leader. That's good. That'll help us rank up. Uh, <laughs> let's just play this. Well, he did power increase this, yeah? The invigoration. Hmm. Well, let's just put this in defense. Um, we'll play Aqua Chorus here. Well, actually, I kind of want to know what I'm working with on this side, so... We'll have Psychic Kappa. No, no, no. We'll have Psychic Kappa go. I think this is usually what I do with Psychic Kappa. Have him go all the way around here. Because uh, no matter what, you never take any damage from it. So, And I'll save Infinite Dismissal. Yeah, both of these have power increases. I don't know which one's going to be more problematic. So we'll just save Infinite Dismissal for the more problematic one. Uh, okay. Do this. Let's... Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just play... Well, in that case... Yeah, let's find out what he's working with over here. And I'll play Maiden of the Aqua next turn. Alright, your turn, Rex. Okay. What you got, buddy? Oh yeah, do I have animation long? I don't know. Ha! <laughs> Two mouth of the Dark Roller. Go Goyle, too strong. Oh, I do. Sweet. Well, let's just, uh... Let's lay back and watch this. Alright. Oh man, and this thing looks a lot like a, uh, you know, twin-headed thunder dragon, which we've been using a lot in uh, my new Let's Play of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Yeah. 
which, I mean, some of you guys may have uh, been enjoying that on this channel. Yeah, Forbidden Memories is actually the sequel to this game. So, I'm uh, Infinite Dismissal. Alright, let's, let's start gaining some levels. Ooh, perfect, perfect. We got two made of the output. Okay. Uh, let's just play one right here. There we go. And we'll play the other one kind of in the corner over here. Nice. So we can start gaining ranks with our deck leader. So, experience points, I mean. Very good, very good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sparks. Oh, we're not going to shut them out. Oh, well. It's all good. Play your 50 damage. <laughs> It's so funny that they reduce sparks in this game because ooh, 2600. Okay. It's so funny that they reduce sparks in this game because the starting LP is uh, 4000. That's so funny. All right, cap go. Um, yeah, we'll just ooh, man eater bug. That seems pretty good. Let's uh, eh, we got time. We got time. Main of the aqua go. Start gaining experience. All right. Turn in though. really beefing up the uh his left side pretty interesting uh maybe i'll put this in defense i mean once i switch uh maiden to defense uh this card will have decent defense points so maybe in the meantime oh i forgot this card was even in this deck <laughs> why do i have flame swordsman in this deck i don't know 300 point bonus when battling dinos hmm okay um Let me think here. Let me think. Let me think. I could have Flame Swordsman kill this. Uh, it's funny. I, maybe I put it in here just so uh, the duels against Rex are easier. Um, hmm. No, no, no. We'll just uh, we'll just go with Mania or Bug though. <laughs> That's funny. Flame Swordsman. Hey. All right. And yeah, he'll be able to move twice with that, so I'll switch the second maiden to uh, defense next turn. Uh, yeah, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Okay. Maybe your bug. Do your thing. Defense mode. Good. Uh, should I play Aqua Chorus here? <laughs> That's funny. That would get all the way up to 2100 defense. You know what? Why not? fish or something. You know what? Yeah, why not? Why not? Plus, like, I think the only thing that could kill us uh, as far as... Ooh, we boosted that monster. Okay, you know what that means. This is probably a Brachio Radius, so we gotta keep an eye out for that. Uh, let's move... As a matter of fact... Yeah, let's move over here. I'll probably send Infinite Dismissal up north here. Well, that was a bit of useful information for us, so... Yeah, Rex, my man. Does he have five monsters out? One, two. Oh, nice. Little D, huh? <laughs> Your little D's been defeated. I get it, defeated. <laughs> All right. I guess we did need the boost here to hold off Little D. Flamethrower. Dude. I'm flood type. I'm water type. I resist your flamethrower. And I gain a 500 bonus for doing so, so ha! You can't handle my kappa. Psychic cap. Hehehe. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we gotta watch out for that monster right there that he just moved, so. Okay. Um, ooh, Fury Seeking. Good, good, good. Um, let's defend with this. Okay, and then, uh, I don't have anything else that boosts, so let's put Infinite Dismissal over here. Yeah, that, I think that's a good call. And, uh, yeah, we'll end our turn. We drew some pretty defensive cards to start this duel, but, uh, honestly, I don't mind. Defensive cards are good. Charlie locked on. Game lead. Lost lead. Tied lead. 
Just play Goblin Seek Remedy. It's the remedy is the experience. Good news is we finally drew a dragon too. We have a fish, right? Yes, we have Miss Arizume. So you know you guys know what that means. Or maybe you don't. It's been a little while since we played this game. Well, I know what that means. I haven't I mean it, I haven't played this game in a while, and you know, sorry about that, but you know, I still remember. I remember. I remember the worry, worry. Now I remember the good times. I remember the good fusions. Like I could never forget the flood fusions in this game. Hit bud. Yeah, man, your bug is like huge in this game. Like I would never think it was that big based on the card art, but uh, that thing's freaking huge, bro. Yeah, okay, Mega Zeller. Whatever, man. <laughs> But yes, I'm very glad to be back recording this. Yeah, yeah now that we uh, hit the finale for Dawn of Destiny, I was just like, you know what? Ooh, 3,800 holy smokes. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. But uh, yeah, now that we hit the finale for uh, Dawn of Destiny, I'm just like, eh, I think now's a, now's a good time. Um, tell you what we're going to do. Hmm. I need to slow this down. 38, huh? Holy crap, that's a lot. Well, I guess I boosted it too. Um, okay, step one. We need to cut this monster off. So, step one, let's fuse for Kyrushin. Fusion. How about this? Okay, step two. I'll probably put Furious Sea King over here to uh, flood the field. Yeah, because that'll give her 36 and drop you down to... Uh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, and if I have to, I'll throw Psychic Kappa into Little D to free up a monster zone if I just really need to. But I have a feeling he'll probably take out Kairushin with something. You know, or at least he'll try to. Uh -huh. Attack me, you fool. Time to turn the tide. <laughs> Kairushin's back, baby. Hmm, in fact, maybe we'll get lucky and draw uh, into another part of the fusion. If we're lucky. Headbutt. Nah. Check this out, son. Time to surfatize you, cat. Oh, you guys hear that weird, like, pitch? Sounds like really high pitch. Oh, oh, that poor dino. What killed the dinosaurs? A uh, tidal wave. <laughs> uh, yeah, some kind of weird high pitch going on. Uh, oh, it stopped. Oh, it was weird. It's only that battle. Or, hey, maybe it's all of them, and I just now noticed. Or uh, Reptile. He plays Armored Blizzard, too. Uh, hmm. Well, we still didn't draw what I was thinking of. Hmm. What rank are you, Kyrushin? Major. Hmm. Well, honestly, I hate to do it. But we definitely need to do it. This guy's running out of turns pretty quick. So... I'm just gonna... Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Actually, is a way we can. Uh, hmm. There is a way I can get into Aqua Dragon right now. I would have to kill a monster, but we can do it. Um, hmm. Which to get rid of? Tell you what, boys and girls. At this point, I'm okay with. Uh, you know, Gold Boy will held down the fort pretty well, but I'm okay getting rid of him here, so let's have him teleport with his ability. Mm -hmm. 
And, uh, oh yeah, we don't need to show this, so... Well, I guess, you know what? I don't really remember Gold Goyle's attack. We'll show my attack, and then we'll get out. So... But yeah, sorry, Gold Goyle, I just need you off the field, bro. His effect is really good, the fact that he respawns. That is awesome. So check it out, he should teleport here. Instant transmission, perfect. Okay, and that's almost exactly where I wanted him to be, too. Um, okay, so we'll override him with Ground Attack or Bugroth, and then we'll fuse Ground Attack or Bugroth with the Furious Sheik, uh, Sea King here. Check this out. I don't know if I've ever shown this fusion or not, but, uh, yeah, Amphibious Bugroth. There's this high-level aqua. Man, why is it so high? Oh, right, right. These things are doing something with their boost effect. That's interesting. Uh, we'll have Kyrie Shin go up one. And then we'll fuse into Aqua Dragon. Fusion Hop! Yeah, and it's funny, Aqua Dragon's weaker, but ultimately I think it, I'll find his effects uh, way more useful here, honestly, so. Alright, your turn, Rex. Uh, retreating. Big mistake, pal. Sword Armor Dragon? Not nearly good enough. All right, and let's watch uh, Aqua Dragon use Hydro Cannon. I'm gonna get a drink though. Yeah, that that is one thing I like about how I play this game and show the animations. Like, unlike other LPs, plenty of time to take a break, get a drink. Hydro Bus Three. You know, normally my duels don't take this long, you know, unless I'm going for a timeout, but this duel with Rex seems to be taking a while, so I guess this will be all in one episode. Uh, actually, this might be a two-parter for all I know, but whatever. We'll just do Rex for the first episode back. Yeah. Not worrying about it too much. This is not how I expected this duel to go, but I mean, honestly, it's not really a bad thing because, uh, with how long, how many turns this duel has lasted, that just means Aqua Drag, I mean, uh, main of the Aqua's getting that much more EXP, so I really don't mind it. Um, oh good, we got another one, okay. So yeah, let's, uh, wait, could Aqua Dragon beat him? <laughs> no, there's no way. He'd only go down to 3300, okay. So let's play Furious Sea King here. Yeah, there you go. Flood the field. Very good, very good. Okay, and now she's at, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Um, okay, and I already moved for it. Let's just end the turn. Depending on how strong whatever Rex plays, he might actually, uh, <laughs> might actually take himself out. Uh, uh, Megzaller's decent, you know, he'll survive that. And we've already seen this kind of, this battle here with Megazaller and Aqua Dragon, so, yeah, we'll skip, we'll skip this thing. We've seen the headbutt animation. Okay. Oh, and he's running. Why are you running away? It's no good, land. We can't run. Uh, Spike Seedra, nice. Uh, well, we could make sure we wrap things up, so... Uh, yeah, this should really be the end. Gorgon's Eye, he can't defend. We should be good from here on out, so... Uh, yeah, let's just end the turn. expected that to come up. Ooh. Well, all right, Rex, buddy. This, uh, well, then again, he does play stuff like Bear Trap, so this isn't a guarantee, but just move in. Okay, okay, we're good. All right. No defense mode for you, buddy. Are you going to attack my Aqua Dragon? Looks like you are. Mm, big mistake. Big mistake, pal. All right, I guess we get to see Brachio Radius attack once here. Yeah. His attack's pretty epic from what I remember. Yeah. And I play 
plan to record like eh, like maybe two or three of these and then you know transfer them to my computer in between episodes and uh, yeah, we'll call it good that'll be a recording session so eh, you know <laughs> oh yeah the donkeys <laughs> oh man it's been too long <laughs> I forgot it had that sound oh man <laughs> Alright, Rex, you gonna end the game here? And... I forgot how many life points he had, but uh, this is probably game over. Oh, it's Barney the Dinosaur. Tail whip. You gonna lower my defense at this stage? How about you take some hydro cannon? See you, Barney. Nice. And that might be game. It is game. Okay. Alrighty. You win. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess we'll try for a three in a row. I don't know if we have Mammoth Graveyard or not yet, though. That's actually a decent card. Uh... Oh, I got close to it. Invigoration. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's try one more time. Uh... Oh, I was so close. <laughs> Missed by one. Dang. Sorry, guys. Man, that would have been an epic way to come back. Three in a row right away. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I'm sorry, guys. I was close. Okay. Uh, yes. Alright. I guess let's, uh... Let's duel them again. And if we don't, you know, finish it in this episode for whatever reason, then we'll continue in the next part. Don't worry. Interesting here. Interesting. A lot of spell binding we got going on. <laughs> Speaking of spellbound, uh, they recently released a card in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and the name of the card is Spellbound. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought they'd uh, play a card that references this game in any way, but uh, uh, you may wonder, like, oh, what does it do? Well, uh, basically it prevents, like, once you activate it, uh, it prevents, like, um, all the monsters that are currently on the field. It prevents them from being used as a Link, Exceed, Synchro, or... Uh, does it prevent fusion material? I don't know. But it prevents, like, you know, those summoning mechanics from being used. So, that's pretty interesting. Um, I guess I'll play one of these over here. Uh, yeah, we can move this up and move this up. I may back off Infinite Dismissal, because honestly, I kind of want the field to change to water. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thought I remembered that effect correct, so. Okay, what do you got, Ritz? Surprised he played a magic card on the first turn. Honestly, his first monster over here, yeah, this could be pretty powerful. Uh, I guess we'll see what it is here. Um... Is that a practical? I think it was. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Wow. Practical first turn. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, normally he doesn't play a magic card right away, but, uh... So that's interesting. Um... Hmm. Uh... Yeah, let's let Amoeba get into defense mode. Let's let this get destroyed, actually. Um... Let's play Starboy just over here. I may just play it for the boost and overwrite it here pretty soon, so. Uh, we're still recording, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. You all taunt, Rex. Trekadon. You might say this stool's right on track. 
I die. Too cheesy? I'm sorry. Hit butt. What did you do? Find a move tuner from uh, Kranidos? It's a signature move, man. Man, that roar sounds like it's from Jurassic Park, though. Alright, Amoeba, use your special ability, please. Thank you. Yeah, 1300. You're not looking so dangerous now, Trachodon. Alright, let's see what we draw here. Ah, ah, pretty good cards, pretty good cards. So, honestly, obviously, uh, I don't really find Trachodon too threatening. So, and he is going to destroy my electric lizard. So, let's just do... Well, actually, maybe I should use Kairi Shin's effect first. That's probably a good idea, actually, before I fuse it. Uh, yeah, and I can reach it next turn regardless, so... You know what? We have the stars to do it, so... Kai Ryushin, flood the field, please. Yeah, we've got time to reach him. We've got time. And I'll skip the next battle with my uh, practical and his stun laser. And we'll move that back. And. Yeah, your turn. Your turn, Rex, my man. Alright. Uh huh. Come on in, track it down. What the. I'm sorry, why did he overwrite a 2,900 point monster? Did the AI mess up? Whoops. Okay, well we have even more time than I thought. Um, in that case, track it down. Uh, am I really gonna power up White Dolphin to kill this thing? I'm gonna do it, guys. White Dolphin is going to earn his bones. Here we go. Uh, see, that feels like such a waste of a power-up, but you know what? I don't want my trap to go off on a 1,300-point monster, so... And, of course, we have to keep on for Aqua Dragon, so... White Dolphin, congratulations, man. You made the thumbnail. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Aqua Beam attack. He fired his laser. I think that's the first time I've ever seen this thing in battle. Normally I always fuse it, you know, so. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute, White Dolphin. <laughs> nice. Good job, buddy. Alright, we'll definitely follow that with infinite dismissal. Uh, okay, I have my turn. Summon another monster, Rex. For my dolphin to destroy. Yurabi, dude. Why'd you overwrite your practical for this? What? What are you doing? What are you boiling? What are you selling? Alright, and it's Trachodon 2.0. Rock Blast! Aww. Oh. Sorry. But you did help me spellbind, like, ultimately the spellbind effect did help me get rid of practical, <laughs> even though I really didn't do anything, like, he did it himself, so. Thank you, Electric Lizard, you have massively helped me. You've helped me stall him and help me, you know, make the AI do something stupid, so that's always good. Um, nice, Aqua Dragon, here we go. Let's do it. Alright, we'll move this up by one. This up by one. And we're going in. Let's see you, you Robbie. Alright. Hide Bust. Three. Of destruction. Oh, I'm gonna grab it.
We might want to watch out for that monster. Oh, attacking me, huh? Ooh, there's this Brachioradius. Okay. Honestly, I was worried the monster that he just summoned might be Brachioradius, but now I'm not. Now I'm not so worried. So. Okay, go Aqua Dragon. Yep. Okay, White Elephant. And he didn't power this one up, so... Maybe I'll just gain some life points this turn. Mm, why not? Okay. Alright, I end my turn, Rex. You gonna attack into my Aqua Dragon? You probably are. Normally the AI is kind of aggressive in this game. Yeah. You're Robbie again. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson?